Hi, thanks for joining us today. My name is Marissa and today we'll be making the beaded shave ice. This is the finished product. Isn't this so pretty? It's made out of all the pony beads we carry at Ben Franklin. Let me show you what you get inside the kit. So first off is the instructions. I'm going to open it up for you. I'm just going to show you all the supplies that you'll need today in this class. And then on the other side is a little pattern that we'll be using today. I know it looks a little bit complicated, but we'll go through it together. I'm just going to leave this right on the side because we'll be using it. You'll also get this yarn or string. This one's rat tail. This is going to be our cord that we're going to pull through all the beads. Okay. I also have a little ring so that we can put it at the top of our little shave ice so we can hang it, maybe on our backpacks. I also have all the beads in here. There's going to be some extra in here for you as well, so if you end up dropping one, there's going to be another one in there for you, so don't worry about it, okay? We've also got scissors, which is optional. We'll just need it to cut the ends after with the string. If you want, we'll have to, uh, you might want to get a little mat, a towel, or at Ben Franklin, we sell a little bead mat for you to use. And I'll show you that as well as we start the video. Okay. So now I'm going to start making the um, pony bead shave ice. What I'm going to do actually is I want to mark where my red and blue string starts. So on my rat tail, I'm going to go to both ends and I have my two markers are right here a blue and a red to one side i'm going to make red and one side one tip i'll make blue this will make it easier for us to know which side is which leave that down and then open this guy and then i'll do the other side so you're just taking the ends of the rat tail and you're making one blue and one red. Yes. Okay. Simple. Okay. One red and one blue. Now I'm going to want to take the rat tail and I'm going to fold it in half. So one end to one end. Then I'm going to pull down. Pull down. And there we go. We did half. So you're finding the halfway mark. Yes. Now that I've got a little loop over here, I'm going to go ahead and make a knot. This is how we're going to start. Let's see, the easiest way is maybe if we lay the rat tail down and I've got the loop or the ear. If you learn to do the bunny ears, the ear goes over the rat tail and now that we've made a big loop the ear goes over and then it'll come under underneath and I'm gonna pull the ear up and pull the long part of the rat tail down we keep pulling and pulling until we get a knot there we go cool so you could rewind this if you didn't see it the first time, but that is how you make a little loop at the top to get started. Okay, so first, I have my bead mat right here. I'm going to lay my rat tail down, and I'm going to have all my beads all ready to go. So I've got my purple one, we only need one, and I have eight blue, eight yellow, eight pink or red, and then I have 28 white. And you probably had extras in your kit, but you put those on the side and you put exactly what we needed on the bead mat, correct? Yes. So this would be a good time for everybody to count out their beads, eight yellow, eight blue, eight red, and 28 white, and one purple. 
And I'm going to make sure that I follow the pattern that we have over here that came with the, the kit for the class today. This, I'm going to have red on one side, like the paper shows, and blue on the other side. Okay? I'm going to start, shows me purple, so I'm going to do the purple one first. And you'll have to loop the red through the purple pony bead. You use the blue, and you're going to put it through around the other way. See that? Now they're both sticking out on the opposite side. And I'm going to pull and pull all the way to the top. There we go. We'll make it straight. To make it straight, I'm just going to pull at this guy, at the little loop that we made. So our pony bead sits flat. Okay? Next, we, make, we get to make the shave ice part. Yeah. So, I'm going to go again and I'll start off with this side. I need one red or pink, I need two yellow, and I need one blue. So you're just following the top of the pattern after the purple bead, right? Yep. So the next pattern after purple is going to be the second line. So that's blue, yellow, yellow, red. Great. Okay. So I'm going to string them through the same way they have it on the paper. So I had my red and two yellows and one blue. And I have to put it on the other one, on the other string, which is the red side, and pull it through the other way. String it across. This cording is nice because it's firm and you don't have to use a needle. Mm-hmm. The beads have nice big holes on it so it's easy to pull through. I'm just going to pull it up again. Oh, and it's not straight. It's okay. I'm going to hold it and pull. So you can just kind of wiggle it around to make it straight, yeah. correct? Yep, exactly. We can always fix it towards the end as well. Okay. There we go. We got our second line. I'm going to do the third one. So we just did this one. I'm going to start off with the next one. Two blues, two yellows, and two red. Okay. So let me pull those off to the side. So the ones we're going to use. Two blue, two yellow, two red. Okay. Again, I'm going to start off. Now my red's back on that side that it originally was. I'm going to go ahead and put two red, two yellow, and two blue. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to come here with the other end and I'm going to pull it through the opposite way. Making sure you go through all the beads. Yep. Now that I've pulled, I'm going to pull both sides. Pull them all the way up to the second line we made. Row of beads. There we go. Hey. Looks great. Okay. Now we're going to go up to the fourth one. Right here. And it's going to be the same thing again. Two blue, two yellow, two red. Okay, two blue, two yellow, and two red. Okay. String this guy in. Got my two reds, my two yellows, and two blues. And Marissa, I noticed you're always putting it on the string that's on your right hand side. That's helpful, correct? Yes. Maybe it's because I'm left handed that I like to string it <laughs> using my. But it's always left -hand. the same way. Yes, always okay. the same way. That way we don't confuse ourselves. Gotcha. Then I'm going to come in with the left side and pull it through the opposite way. There we go. 
And again, I'm going to pull them all up. Yay. I'm starting to see it. Yeah. Okay. Next line or row is going to be three blues this time. Two yellows and three reds. Okay. That means I've used all, I'm going to use all the blues, all the yellows I have, and all the reds. It's like we're ending the shave ice. Come here and I'm going to pull them through again. My three reds. Pull the two yellows and the three blues. There we go. I'm going to come in with the other string or other yarn and I'm going to come and pull it across the other way. And string them through. This one's a little bit harder because there's more beads on this row. Make sure we get all of them in. Pull, pull, till it reaches the, the top row. There we go. Yay! Now we have the shave ice. Now all we have to do is make the cone. Okay. Might be a little bit difficult to see because they're all the same color, but we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven white pony beads. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay. I'm going to string all seven of the white pony beads through one side. Okay, now that it's like that, I'm going to use the other one and pull it through. Get all the beads in. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull it up. Yay! Now I bet since the cone it works its way down like to a point, so we're probably going to use less beads on the next row, correct? Exactly. So the next row, we'll do six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like the pattern shows. Pulling all six beads through one side. Is that six? Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. I had seven on there. <laughs> I thought There's so. Six. <laughs> Double count. Then I'm gonna use a string and pull through. That's my favorite part when you pull it like that. <laughs> yeah, you can really see what you're making. It's starting to come together. Okay. Now the next row. Five. Did. I bet five. <laughs> <laughs> it's five. Oh, I hear the jets outside. <laughs> okay, so five through one, two, three, four, five. Then use the other side to pull through. There we go. Nice. The next row is four. I don't know if you're seeing a pattern, but we're taking one bead off at a time for each row. So one, two, three, four. Pull them through. Other side, we're gonna pull them up. We're almost done, guys. A few more rows to go. Now we're gonna do, instead of four, it's three now. From one end, pulling three across. 
using the other side to string the beads through. And we're gonna pull them up. I'm glad this um, string is long enough because I think when Marissa and I did this the first time, we cut our string too short. Yes. <laughs> We didn't get to finish the cone. <laughs> we only had the shave ice. Now I've got two. Pull that guy up. And the last one. Yay! Beautiful. Now we can't just hang it up. We gotta tie off the end. We can do it the same way we did the top, or if you know how to tie and make a knot, we can do it this way too. I can show you. So we have the two ends. So I have red and then there's blue. I'm gonna put red over the blue, and the red one will go under the blue. Okay, let's try again. Red goes over blue and goes under again. Okay? Then when we pull the red and the blue, we're gonna tie it. There we go. Try again. Red goes over the blue, and then under the blue, and then we'll pull. There we go. And now you've made a double knot. Make it nice and tight and pull both sides. There you go. And I'll use the scissors to cut off the little tail that we've made because we don't want that dangling around. So I'm use my scissors. I'm sorry, I didn't bring left hand scissors for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. There we go. Make sure we cut off most of it. And there we go. Now we have our little split key ring. This one maybe will require a little bit of help, but if you can do it, I use my fingernail to kind of prop or bring the end of the jump ring up. And what we're gonna do is put the rat tail through. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it with my finger, a little bit open. And I'm gonna try and slide my rat tail through. There we go. And now I can just pull it, pull it around. Pull it around. And there we go. Cute. Yay. I'm going to put it on my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.